Spring Haven is all about the people. You know, Spring Haven, what people don't realize is it has such an interesting past. You know, we're small but mighty. An interesting past and a promising future come to light as the Spring Haven Club celebrates its 125th birthday this year. The Wallingford, Pennsylvania venue owes its existence to a pair of founding mothers, Eleanor Reed and Ida Dixon. Reed founded the club and struck the first tee shot at Five Points, the club's original location. Dixon designed Springhaven and is credited as the first female golf architect in America. Women were at the forefront of this club. Um, they're the heart and soul of this club. They, before, you know, there were PGA professionals that were working here and golf shop attendees. The women ran the junior programs. They helped run local tournaments for each other in the area. On the tournament front, Spring Havens conducted and hosted plenty throughout its 125 year history, including the Horace Rollins Invitational, its namesake, the club's first professional, and the Ida Dixon Cup, a popular Women's Golf Association of Philadelphia event. From 1920 to 1945, Spring Haven emerged as a prominent figure in the national and local golf scene. And Walter Haven was putting together a series of exhibition matches to collect money and funds to fund the travel to Europe for the Ryder Cup. So in 1928, we hosted an event in October uh, that included every standing major champion of golf. Not to mention the time Babe Ruth, yes, Babe Ruth, set foot at Spring Haven. There's a great story about him drinking seven scotch and sodas before teeing off, and then not touching a drink on the golf course. There was a caddy here named Alex, who had been a caddy here for 70 years, who told us about that day, but none of us ever really truly believed the details of that story. In addition to unearthing those stories, Hodges tracked down Spring Haven's original logo, which is now reimagined for the club's 125th birthday. Also in celebration, Springhaven will conduct a nine-hole hickory tournament in May and offer opening day IPA, a toast, if you will, to 125 years and counting. All of this comes on the heels of a monumental Springhaven moment. The club officially opens a new athletic complex, complete with a new pool, cabana bar, fitness center, and a pair of indoor hitting bays this year. The 3,500 square foot facility, part of Spring Haven's Drive to 2025 initiative, blends new amenities with a proud heritage. Case in point, those indoor bays are named in honor of decorated members Will and Watts Gunn, the latter being the 1925 U.S. Amateur runner-up. We welcome and foster uh, golf advocates and we'd love to have golf fanatics. Those golf fanatics enjoy a course that can be deceptive to outsiders. People think it's easy but they get here and they think oh, it's a piece of cake because it's not hilly, it's not this and that but the fairways are narrow and uh, that's, it, it's hard. Spring Haven made significant changes to its golf course nearly two decades ago. It balanced the nines, installed two new greens, improved drainage, and sprinkled in a handful of new tea complexes. And then there's the tree removal. I'll look at pictures from the 90s and it takes me a minute to figure out what hole I'm looking at because it looks that different now. I don't really keep track of how many trees we've taken out but I would venture to say in the 31 years that I've been here, it's got to be in the neighborhood of 1,500. And, you know, you look around and it's like, where could you have taken 1,500 trees from? Things may have changed over the course of 125 years, but those Spring Haven family values are still the same. We're here because members love it and uh, they do anything they can to stay. For Gap TV, Tony Regina.